afraid you'll miss it when someone follows, raids, subscribes, or tips you? In this video, I'll teach you how to set up alerts to prevent this from happening. Hello, and welcome to me, Goblin Alicious. Let's get started. Now, there are many stream alert services available, but in my opinion, Stream Elements is both the easiest and most flexible option, so we're going to be using them for our stream alerts. This video is not sponsored, by the way. I just really love their service and user experience. The first thing we need to do is go to StreamElements.com. I'll put the link down in the description. Once you're there, either click Login or Sign Up. We're going to choose Sign Up so we can see how easy it is to get started. Stream Elements currently works with Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, and Trovo, so connect with the service you're planning to stream on. In our case, that's Twitch, so we'll click Twitch. If you haven't already, you'll need to authorize with the service of your choosing in order for it to notify Stream Elements to make the alerts happen, so go ahead and click Authorize. Now that we're in, we should see a screen like this, but we can close it for now. I'll cover these other things in another video. We're just here for alerts, right? Right. So next, we'll click on Streaming Tools to expand that. And now we have a choice. We can either click on My Overlays to use the default alerts, or we can click on Overlays Gallery, then Alerts to browse themed alerts. Why not both? Let's first take a look at the themed alerts in the Overlays Gallery. Here, you can browse pre-made alerts. Some are animated, some are themed to specific games or holidays. You can click them to see previews until you find one you like. If you do find the one you like, select either Create a New Overlay or Add to an Existing Overlay under the preview. Since we don't have any existing overlays, we're going to stay with Create a New Overlay and tap the Continue button. You can keep the existing name or rename it, then tap Create My Overlay. Tap the link icon next to the URL it gives you. If you didn't find anything you liked in the Overlays Gallery, go to My Overlays and tap on the New Overlay button in the top right. If you need to, you can change the resolution of the overlay in the drop-down, but for most, the default of 1080p should be fine. Once you've selected your resolution, tap Start. You can select Maybe Later if the tour pops up for you since we'll be covering everything here. Next, tap on either the Add Widget button on the left or the big plus sign towards the bottom left. You can already see where we're headed, right? That's right. We're going to go to Alerts, and then select Alert Box. If you want to get started super fast, you can name your overlay in the top left, tap the Save button in the top right, and tap the link icon to Copy Overlay URL. Next, we're going to test our alerts. Then you can either customize them or go ahead and add them to OBS. Let's test our alerts to make sure they work. If you used a pre-made themed alert and aren't already in the editor, go to My Overlays and tap the Edit button on your themed alerts overlay. We're going to test with the default alerts, but the results should be similar. Now that you're in the overlay editor, look towards the bottom left. You should see a bell with Emulate under it. Tap that and select Follower Event at the top of the list. Let's do it together now. Ready? Three, two, one. Awesome! Hopefully it worked for you too, but let me know in the comments if it didn't. If there's anything you don't like, or you want to know how to change something, keep watching and we'll run through the most important options really quickly. Let's customize our alerts now. Remember, if you ever need to make changes, just go to My Overlays and tap the Edit button next to your overlay. 
If it's not already expanded, select the alert box on the left side of the screen. Before we dive in, I want to point out the buttons on the bottom bar. Using these, you can turn snapping on or off. You can reset zoom to see things in actual size. Fit to screen to see the whole layout. Zoom out or in and undo or redo any changes. Finally, you can also mute audio in the editor if needed. Also note the Save button in the top right and use it frequently as you make changes. If you just want to change the position or size of the alert box, select Position, Size, and Style. Here, you can change the size or move where the alert box will appear on your screen. You can also just drag it around if you so choose. Keep in mind that the center widget button will center it both horizontally and vertically, but you can move it to the top, bottom, left, or right by changing the top and left values. If you want to customize more than just the position, select Settings. Now you should see a cogwheel icon next to each alert type. Select the icon next to the type of alert you wish to customize and it will open the advanced settings. Let's look at the follower alert. The first tab opened is where you can customize the alert message, including which variables are available. For follower alerts, we just have the name variable. You can also change the duration of the alert here. At the bottom left, you should see more settings tabs. Let's look at TTS next. This is where you can enable text-to-speech. Although I wouldn't necessarily recommend enabling it for follower alerts, you could if you wanted to, but this is better suited for subs, tips, and cheers. The next tab in the list is text settings. Let's take a look. This is where you can change the font and color of your alert. The highlight color towards the bottom will change the color of any variables you included in your message in the first tab. Once you've got the follower alert style the way you want it, you can go back and change the other alert types as well. Feel free to play around with the other settings in here as we just covered the basics for now. I'll cover all of the customization options in depth in another video. For now, let's move on to the final step. Now it's time to actually get your alerts into OBS so they show up when you're streaming. If you already have your overlay URL copied from a previous step, you're most of the way there. If not, and you're still in the editor, tap the link icon at the top right to copy overlay URL. If you're not in the editor, go to My Overlays, tap the three dots at the bottom left of your overlay card, and select Copy URL. Next, open OBS and go to your main scene. At the bottom of the Sources box, tap the plus icon and select Browser. Give the source a name so you'll be able to easily identify it later. I'm just going to call mine Alerts and tap OK. Now, paste the URL you copied earlier into the URL field of the browser source properties. Next, change the width and height to match the resolution you created your alerts in. In our case, we created them in 1080p, so we'll set a width of 1920 and a height of 1080 and tap OK. If you have multiple scenes, you can right-click the Alerts browser source and select Copy or press Ctrl-C with it selected. Then go to your other scenes and right-click and select Paste, Reference, or press Ctrl V. You can verify that the alerts are working by going back to the Stream Elements Editor and emulating an event. Let's do that now. That's it! Now you'll never miss out on the chance to thank the people who choose to support you. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I'd really appreciate it if you would please consider liking the video, as well as subscribing and ringing that notification bell so you can see all my upcoming videos. 
If you know anyone else who might find this useful, feel free to share it with them. Comment below if this video was helpful, if you encountered any problems, or just let me know what you'd like to learn next. I stream on Twitch Mondays and Fridays starting at 9 p.m. Eastern, so if you have any more questions or just want to hang out, feel free to stop by. We also have a Patreon if you want to support our community's growth and see more content like this. You'll find links in the description. Stay awesome until you see me again. Okay, bye.